Hey y'all, this is Troy. So I want to tell y'all a cool story. So I was at church the other day and I was talking to somebody and realized I didn't have my phone on me. And so I said, hey, I think I left my phone out in the car. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to text you later whenever I find my phone. And so, uh, so I went out to the car after church with my family and I looked for my phone. I couldn't find it. We drove home. I looked for my phone at the house. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then suddenly it dawned on me the last place I saw my phone was when I was getting in the car to drive to church that morning, I placed it up on top of our car. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> like it's, it's probably not there. I ran outside and checked. It wasn't on the car, wasn't in the parking lot or anything. And so what I did was I got in the car, I went driving down the road and I followed the path from our apartment to our church. And so I'm, I'm driving along and, and about halfway there, I see a, a piece of my phone sitting out on the road. And so I stop the car and I get out and I go look at it and, and I find that my phone is, uh, my phone is in three pieces and my phone case is in about five or seven pieces. And I'm just thinking, I, I can't believe that I've done this. <laughs> like, uh, I don't want to have to pay for a new phone and I don't want to have to go without my phone for a few days because uh, it's what I use for work and people have to text and call me and stuff. And, but as I begin to scoop all the pieces together, I, I realize that my case is destroyed. It's gonna just have to be thrown away. The phone's probably a gone or two. But I, I get the three pieces of my phone and I put them back together and I hit the power button and I'm looking at it and, and I can tell that the, that the battery has been driven over for hours. There's like scratches and dents. The, the front of the phone, it has all these like scratches in it and uh, places where it's, it's just been messed up. But, I, but after I hit the power button, I noticed that it turns on like normal. And it powers up, and I was able to text that person right then who I said I would text. And it made me think about the times when we feel like we've messed up so much that there's no way we could ever fix what we've done. There's, when we feel like our lives are in so many pieces or that we've been so trampled on that people have been running us over or whatever it may be that, that the situation in our life has been so messed up that we feel like there's nothing we can do about it and we just see the pieces of our life scattered across the road. And if you're going through one of those moments today, the same way that I was looking for my phone, that I saw it from a distance because I did not want to lose my phone. That was my phone. I believe that God sees you from a distance today because he's looking for you, because he's not willing to give up on you. He's not willing to lose you because you are his child. And what's amazing about God is that I've broken a lot of phones in my life and I've not been, always been able to put them back together, but God is always able to put back together the pieces of your life that you feel like are no longer usable. And He knows where the wires go. He knows how to plug things back together. He knows how to fix the seams. And He knows how to turn the power of your life back on. And the really cool thing is that whenever we turn away from whatever it, it is that might be destroying our lives, is that God, not only can He put us back together and make us whole in Him, but He can also use us to accomplish His purpose for our lives. And I'm reminded of something recently that I said to God. I just remember <laughs> thinking about uh, a mistake that I had made. And, and I remember thinking about all the mistakes that I've made in my entire life. And I, and I saw a picture of Jesus walking up the road to be hung on a cross. And I remember saying, God, <laughs> Jesus, it, I'm not worth that. And he said to me, exactly. That's how much I love you not worth it until I decided that you were. I believe that God is not done with you. He's not going to give up on you. He's there and he's waiting for you to turn to him.